today I want to talk about the magic move in golf. That change of direction at the top that sets everything in motion on the way down. You know what? In my 25 years teaching, I bet 85% of golfers do this move improperly. Only about 15% unwind themselves, drive the club into the ball from the inside and compress it and hit it with authority. So what's the problem? Why do 85% of golfers struggle with this? Well, I mean, the general notion is if you do anything wrong at the start of the swing or during your takeaway or as you move up to the top, you can't move down properly. So the golf swing's like a series of building blocks, building up to the top and then unwinding down. The unwinding word is the secret, right? I mean, what you're supposed to do in golf is wind the body up as the arms swing the club up over your back shoulder. This is the way it works. The body sort of winds from the top. The upper body turns over the lower body. And John Jacobs, great European coach from years ago, used to say that you wind the upper body above a resisting lower body. We need a little bit of resistance in this back leg as we wind ourselves up into a proper position in the backswing. If you do it properly and you have a little bit of tension in this flexed leg, then unwinding is a lot easier. In other words, you have to wind to unwind properly. Most golfers either shift a little bit, or they lift up, or they over-rotate and, and get into a poor position to lead from. So my general statement, you wind up from the top down, we unwind from the bottom up. So the lower body kind of gets us unwinding. Now what starts the downswing? What starts that move? A lot of people ask that question. I don't even really want to answer that question. I just know that when I go to throw a ball, my feet, my legs, my hips, all of those things lead my forward motion. Hogan used to talk about the hips. Nicholas used to talk about rolling the ankles a little bit. Whatever it is, just understand, if you're not wound up with pressure, you can't unwind properly. All right? One thing I'd like to leave you with. Think of the idea of your legs kind of being syrupy or as your oily shock absorbers. And what they're doing is they're guiding you forward. So your legs are dynamic, your lower body is unwinding out of the pressure, and the club is guided to the inside. In our next few videos, we're going to talk about what the arms do in the downswing, what the head does in the downswing, what the legs do in the downswing. But just understand, wind up, then unwind.